Chapter 26 Of the Exaltation of a Free Spirit, Which Humble Prayer More Deserveth Than Doth Frequent Reading. Lord, this is the work of a perfect man, never to slacken his mind from attention to heavenly things, and among many cares to pass along, as it were, without care, not after the manner of one indifferent, but rather with the privilege of a free mind, cleaving to no creature with inordinate affection. I beseech thee, my most merciful Lord God, preserve me from the cares of this life, lest I become too much entangled, from many necessities of the body, lest I be taken captive by pleasure, from all obstacles of the spirit, lest I be broken and cast down with cares. I say not from those things which the vanity of the world goeth about after with all eagerness, but from those miseries which by the universal curse of mortality weigh down and hold back the soul of thy servant in punishment, that it cannot enter into liberty of spirit so often as it would. O my God, sweetness unspeakable, turn into bitterness all my fleshly consolation, which draweth me away from the love of eternal things, and wickedly allureth towards itself, by setting before me some present delight. Let not, O my God, let not flesh and blood prevail over me, let not the world and its short glory deceive me, let not the devil and his craftiness supplant me. Give me courage to resist, patience to endure, constancy to persevere. Grant, in place of all consolations of the world, the most sweet unction of thy spirit, and in place of carnal love, pour into me the love of thy name. Behold, food and drink and clothing and all the other things appertaining to the support of the body are burdensome to the devout spirit. Grant that I may use such things with moderation, and that I be not entangled with inordinate affection for them. To cast away all these things is not lawful, because nature must be sustained, but to require superfluities and things which merely minister delight, the holy law forbiddeth. For otherwise the flesh would wax insolent against the spirit. In all these things I beseech thee, let thy hand guide and teach me, that I in no way exceed. <laughs>